Somebody, Somebody give me one more Cause I just ran out I don't go to the clubs And I don't stand out Ball to the wall In the basement party in Doesn't matter what bar we in Or what car we in Be red on the one Hey everyone This is Evo Kirito here And this is episode 1 Of Let's Play Modded Skyrim now, I made this character, Alexis, she is part of the Succubus race, hence the horns and the wings, and we are starting in Whiterun, just wanted to get past the tutorial and part of the first steps. Um, I have started the companion's questline, we gotta go talk to Ayala next, and so, goals for this character. Well, I was thinking we could go through the main storyline, and then go through part of the guild storylines, like, say, the Dark Brotherhood, or the Thieves Guild, the Companions, stuff like that. And then that's the character. Now, for the most part, this character is going to be two-handed, so two-handed swords. I don't really want to go Warhammers or Battle Axes, just because I've always liked two-handed swords. Now, in terms of mods, I downloaded a lot of graphical mods and stuff that changes the UI, like Sky UI, stuff like that. And if you guys have any mods that you want to see or suggestions, just leave those in the comments and I'll take a look at them all. And other than that, for the weapon and armor mods, I'm not going to use any of those unless um, like the strength value or the armor value on those are equal to something that I already have. So for example, um, see that chest down there? That's from a mod I downloaded called the Thunderbird Armor. So, the Thunderbird armor, it had 11 armor rating, and then I had this, where was it, hide helmet fine with 12, so I decided why not use it. So, we got the Thunderbird helmet on, and I will be using heavy armor. Um, let's see, other than that, not much else, let's get to it. So, I haven't talked to the Jarl yet, but, um, whatever the armor's guy up there he told me to go talk to Ayala, give her a shield, so I'll just make that the current quest objective. Get rid of this, because I know what to do for that. Seems like Ayala is inside of here, so let's go. Huh, I wonder where she is. Might be in her room. Now, um, I am going to leave a list of mods in the description, just so you guys know what ones I'm using, and I'm pretty sure most of them are either different, like, graphics mods, or, um, race mods, stuff like that. Okay. Here's your shield. Ah, good, I've been waiting for this. Wait. I don't think you have you do. Yeah. Ah, yes. I heard you gave him quite a thrashing. I did, huh? Do you think you could handle Viltus in a real fight? I don't care for ah, boasting. A woman who lets her actions speak for her. I knew there was something. Good. Here, let's have Farkas show you where you'll be resting your head. Your place for war. Farkas. <laughs> Did you call me? Of course. He's just waiting for their call. Show this new blood where the rest of the wealth sleep. New blood. Oh, I remember you. Good. So, if you guys see any books glowing, that's part of the Unread Books Glow mod. I decided to download that just because. I wanted to keep track of the books I've already read, because, as you guys should know, there's a lot of books around Skyrim that increase different skill levels, so there's also a lot of duplicate books for those. Like, I don't know, say Light Armor's book, it, that increases the Light Armor skill by one. There's probably a bunch of those all over Skyrim. So I decided to download them on and keep track if I've read it already. Once you've made a bit of a name for yourself, Skior and Vilkas might have things for you to do. Good luck. Welcome to the Companions. Thank you. By the way, we've gotten a letter about someone needing some muscle right here. I don't know really? what the fight is about. And I, I just need you to go out there, look tough, and scare this milch. No Sounds good. That. I don't want to hear about a killing, understand? I can handle Try it. Try not to get carried away. Okay. Oh, yeah. 
So, another mod that I downloaded, uh, just off the Steam Workshop, is the Buster Sword mod. Now, as you guys can clearly see, it's so much stronger than this Iron Greatsword. I mean, look at that. It's got an extra 111 damage on it. So, I'm not going to be using that until I have something that's just as strong. I may not even get to use it at all. Another two-handed sword mod that I downloaded is Chrysomir. You get that by going over to Solitude. Let's see, we got an Iron Greatsword right here. Sure. Let's go. Uh-oh, looks like it might take a little bit to open up the door here. Come on. There we go. Okay. So, let's go talk to this person who needs to be bullied. Oh, so here's a question for all you guys. What do you guys think about using followers? Now, I've downloaded a follower mod called Sarah. I'm pretty sure she's right inside here. I'm not going to go in just yet, though. And so, Sarah... Uh, I thought Filka said that the person was in Whiterun. Anyways, Sarah is just a modded follower, and I wanted to know, what do you guys think about it? Do you guys want me to use followers or not? It's totally up to you guys. Let's see, what's he want me to do? Where is this guy? Now, obviously, I'll be using the followers that I pick up that are required for quest lines. But if you guys don't want me to use followers, I can just play solo for as much as I can. No, it looks like he's really close. Can we jump over here? Nope. What about over here? There we go. I don't want to die, though. Now, I'm assuming because Succubus has really high jump heights, it also takes reduced fall damage. But I'm not too sure. Here's the person we gotta bully. This was Listen to that thunder. You can't scare me into submission. Let's go. Like getting in a fist fight with her? Let's see what you're made of. <laughs> okay. Get down. You're not tough. She gonna get up? Yeah, there we go. Perfect. So let's re-equip the Iron Greatsword and go back to the Companions. I haven't gone to Dragon's Reach yet, so let's just fast travel to White Run. Come on, load me in a white run. There we go. Let's put away our sword. And let's go run up to Dragon's Reach just so we get that fast travel point unlocked. Now, I do have the uh, Legendary Edition, I believe it's called, of Skyrim. So I have all the DLCs, which include Dragonborn, um... Dongard and Hearthfire. I always like building houses with Hearthfire. It's just a good place to store all my stuff. And I also don't need to buy a house in one of the holds. Just makes sense. Okay guys, well that's going to be the end of episode 1. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave those in the comments section and I'll get back to you soon. Episode 2 will be up shortly, so keep a lookout for that one and I'll see you guys.